So a few days ago, I received a message from one of you saying, thanks to you, I don't play bad chords anymore. And I'm like, what the heck is a bad chord? I mean, is there such a thing as a bad chord? Of course, this is an awful sounding chord. It sounds bad, but I don't think this is what it meant. It probably meant boring, repetitive chords. And it's true that when we play the same, you know, open chords, the same songs for weeks, months or years, at some point we just want a way out, right? So how do we go from playing basic chords to beautiful sounding chords? Now, which kind of chords am I playing here? We got two chords, A minor and E minor chord. Now we are in the key of E minor, but we're playing chord four and then chord one. Of course, if you are just starting out, you can just strum these chords. You know, that's the easiest thing that you can do. Or you can use a simple finger picking pattern like the Pima, thumb, index, middle and ring. But we are going to take it to the next level and we're going to play this lovely chord. We are playing five notes, A string open, fourth string fret five with the note G, and the third string fret five with the note C. We also have the B string open and the G on the first string of fret number three. It's a beautiful A minor nine. Root note, minor seven, minor third, major nine, and minor seven. The second chord is a well-known chord for guitar players, a beautiful E minor add nine chord. We got zero, we got two, we got four, and zero, zero, and zero. Root note, fifth, major second, minor third, fifth, and root note. Chords like this work great with the finger style technique, especially when we are combining fretted notes with open strings. And we are using the Pima, thumb, index, middle, and ring, the most simple finger picking pattern. Now we have the string five, four, three, and two. But we're gonna change the singing note of this chord. So we play five, four, three, two, five, four, three, one, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, and two. So each chord is played with four finger picking patterns. And then we repeat the pattern again. Now we're gonna change chord and we do the same finger picking pattern, this time with the E minor add nine chord and we have, so we have the string six, five, four, three, six, five, four, and two. Six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. Remember that each chord will have four finger picking patterns. So one, two, three, four. Now when we repeat the same thing, we're gonna add a melody. So it's one, two, bass, and the melody on the fourth string. Two, fret number two, fret number four, and the third string open. Once we have the basic structure, we can add different colors, different notes to each one of these chords. For example, for the A minor, Just a simple melody at the end of the chord, three notes, just like we did with the E minor add nine. So we play the bass and then the fret number three, five, and a pull off to the E string open. You can do the same thing for the E minor add nine. In 
this case, we are changing the singing note of the chord four times. So you want to put down the E minor at nine, and then we have six, five, four, three, six, five, four, two, and then six, five, four, two, but this time with the note E, making this chord an E minor nine. And the last time we do six, five, four, and one. So we're literally changing the singing note of this chord four times. Now we're going to open up with a different chord, C major seven. strum the chord lightly and then a melody on the D string fret number two four and zero on the third string and the most common guitar chord it's a D add 11 chord and we finish with this awesome bluesy phrase we had the fret 7 on the low E and 5 and 7 on the A string and we had the fret 5 on the D string which I'm gonna bend slightly so we finish with the fret number 7 on the A string it's a nice and simple pentatonic bluesy riff now after that we're gonna play the low E string and then an E minor 7 chord A major chord. Of course, there are countless things that we can do over these two chords. You can keep it simple and just repeat the same phrase four times. But we can also change it up a little bit, add more color uh, to the chord as well. I hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching keep playing keep practicing and i'll see you next time <laughs>